this video, we'll be reviewing the Databricks AutoML functionality. For this demonstration, we'll execute an end-to-end -end pipeline via the UI, but these same steps could also be performed programmatically via a set of Python APIs. We'll be using the Lending Club dataset, which we'll use to predict whether future loan applications may result in the borrower defaulting. Databricks AutoML helps you automatically train machine learning models on most tabular datasets. It prepares the dataset for model training and then performs and records a set of trials, creating, tuning, and evaluating multiple models at a time. It displays the results and provides a Python notebook with the source code for each trial run so you can review, reproduce, and modify the code. AutoML also calculates summary statistics on your dataset and saves this information in a notebook that you can review later. Today, the most widely used regression, classification, and forecasting algorithms are in scope. In most MLOps life cycles, like the one you see here on the screen, AutoML is leveraged toward the beginning in order to generate an effective baseline model and accompanying code on which a team of data scientists can iterate. To start using AutoML, we'll want to ensure we have the machine learning persona active on the left navigation bar. Next, we'll click Experiments, and then on the Auto Create AutoML Experiment button. We'll select an active cluster, type of problem, classification in this instance, our data set, and the column name of our target variable. We'll give our experiment a name, and then under advanced configurations, we can specify a predefined evaluation metric to minimize or maximize, as well as our stopping conditions. Note that these stopping conditions have evolved newer Databricks runtimes, so be sure to check the documentation for the latest available options. At minimum, a timeout parameter will be required and early stopping will be enforced automatically if the evaluation metric is no longer improving. Once we're happy with our selections, we'll go ahead and click the Start Auto ML button to get this process going. As the various models train, we'll have insight into their performance via the MLflow tracking server. But before we view any trained models, let's first take a look at the data exploration notebook that was automatically generated for us. Here, we can review some of the high-level characteristics about our training data, such as its total size and memory, some alerts about our features, which may impact our results downstream, distributions of numeric variables, counts of categor categorical variables, and other summary statistics for all variables. If we didn't already know it, this might be where we find out, for instance, that our debt to income ratio featured is skewed with the right tail. And if we were to click on toggle details, we would get even more information about the magnitude of that skew. Under the hood, AutoML is leveraging Hyperopt, a Python library that facilitates distributed hyperparameter tuning and model selection. With Hyperopt, AutoML is scanning a set of models with varying algorithms and hyperparameters across spaces it has predefined. While this continues to train, if we dive into the best performing run so far,
we can see all the parameters, metrics, and artifacts that MLflow is automatically logging on our behalf. Better yet, if we click on the linked source notebook, we can review, run, and edit the exact source code used to train each respective model. And if we have SHAMP values enabled, we can also quickly generate visualizations which help explain our model's predictions. Now, not only do we have a baseline model, we also have pre-processing, training, and validation code, on top of which our data scientists can continue to iterate. Fast forwarding a few steps in the model's life cycle, if we wanted to use this model to test out how it performs against a separate holdout set, either in a batch or real-time context, we have a few options. First, we could leverage the sample Python code provided by MLflow here, or in a few short clicks, we could register a model with the MLflow model registry and then deploy it as a REST API. This has been a review of the Databricks AutoML functionality. Thanks for watching.